What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you guys want some cheap MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter for the fastest and most reliable purchase on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we're gonna go over some top snipe filters in NBA 2K20 My Team today. Um, we got some fire snipe filters for you guys. Hopefully, you guys can make a lot of MT off this video. Um, before we get into it, guys, let's get 100 likes in the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. We're gonna do some MT giveaways if we do 100. If we had 100 likes in this video. Honestly, we're gonna do 100,000 MT giveaway right on Twitter. So make sure to follow Twitter and Insta to enter the giveaway. And uh, yeah, same with sub. Be greatly appreciated, man. We're about 40 subs away from 12,000 subs. So 2K20 running around the corner. We're going to go over some end game filters, man. Let's get into it. Let's go. So we're going to start off with this one, guys. Galaxy Opal cheapest fil <coughs> filter in the game. You kind of want to avoid Jason Kidd. You also kind of do need to know pricing. So it all depends. It all depends. It all depends. So Larry Hughes, you want to avoid. Jason Terry Opal, you want to avoid. Jason Kidd, you want to avoid. It all depends what pops up, man. On Xbox, the Opal filter is a lot cheaper than PS4. I know that for a fact. PS4 market is 110% more flooded. So if you guys didn't know, if you have a lot of MT on Xbox, you are honestly a very good snipe, snipe god because a lot harder to snipe on Xbox. There's less people on here, less snipes getting thrown up. On PS4, there's literally, I think, like maybe double the amount on there. Because if you go on Galaxy Opal filter, you're going to see a Galaxy Opal posted every second. On Xbox, there's literally not that many Galaxy Opals posted. Um, as you can see, every second, every like two seconds, three seconds. So if you guys didn't know, man, PS4 is definitely a lot easier to snipe on. If you go on Galaxy Opal filter PS4, it's a lot more active. And that's a fact. I do have a PS4 as well, but I do record on my Xbox. Because I've been playing Xbox since I was little. But yeah, that is filter number one. Number two. We got the pink diamond filter right here, man. It's very deadly. Especially with all this new content dropping and whatnot. Um, you should be able to snipe out a ton of pink diamonds. You never know what you could get out of this pink diamond filter. I've seen a Giannis point guard in this filter. I've seen a lot of things in this filter. And honestly, it's complete luck. I really do hope you guys get the best of luck in this filter. Because there is a lot of players that go for 20k, 30k, 15k on this filter. And honestly, I'm going to show you some filters that I recommend. It's not even really filters. It's mostly like just going by players, especially fan favorites three and what's in packs. Because I actually made about a hundred thousand MT in about twenty minutes off just sniping fan favorites three players. So we're gonna go over the best ones to snipe in the fan favorites three. Um, let's go over it, man. I'm gonna go over Cam Reddish because for some reason this guy pops up a ton. I sniped out like four of him yesterday. Made ten k profit on all of them clean. Um, so here we go, guys. Cam Reddish Daddy. Um, he actually did go up. Unless he is a shooting guard. Fan favorites three. Let's go Hawks. Um, there we go. 72K. I believe he's up a lot more. I sold one for like 80 yesterday. Okay, no. He's at 72. So as you can see, that's not a snipe because there is reduction fee. Hopefully they get rid of that next year. But yo, there's going to be a ton of Cam Reddish is posted. And I'm going to show you proof, man. There is so many in this game. 3 hours 29, 3 hours 54, 3 hours 55, 3 hours 59. You know what I'm saying? So this filter right here is going to be very good. There's a million camera issues getting posted almost every single refresh. So I definitely recommend you try this out. Same with Dino, same with Eddie Curry. Um, Very, very easy snipe filters, man. I'm telling you right now. But you have to go by player. You have to search them up like this. These are honestly, in my opinion, this is perfect for new content. A lot of people are pulling up. These opals, man. These opals are very, very easy to pull. I probably pulled about 15 opals in this promo. It's just the fact that they're not that expensive, but you can make some quick MT off just sniping these filters. I'm going to say this is about two filters right here. You can do the same with Eddie Curry. There's going to be a ton of snipes off these filters consistently. And honestly, if you're impatient, this is probably the snipe filter for you. It's going to be a lot faster, a lot easier to get snipes on these. So yeah, I definitely recommend trying it like that. Um, there's also Georgie Murasin. There's also Nick Young. You could also, oh, look at this right here on the video. Real quick, we're going to make a solid what? Maybe not even that much. Maybe like a thousand MT. 
But like what I'm saying, man, it's easy to make MT. I'm honestly going to put them up for 82K, try to make a little bit of profit. But there's literally a perfect example, guys. You're going to make MT that easy on this filter. So there's filter number, uh, let's just say three or four. And then we're going to get into some other filters, man. The diamond filter is not the best, but you can still make some decent MT. We just got weighed for 1500 on the first refresh. He's probably going for a little bit more. As you guys do know, that Dwayne Wade card is very goaded. So let's see what he's going for. Ah, we're not really going to make that much MT. But still, you could quick sell him and pretty much make the same amount back. Right there, we just got D-Wade. We're going to sell him for like 100 MT more. It's better than nothing. But that filter's decent. You could get some fire diamonds on that filter for the low. Um, let me think. There's a heat check filter in which heat checks are very 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 valuable in this game since there is no more like heat checks impacts these prices have went up a ton and i honestly if you want to get your tokens up this is probably a very very good idea of trying to snipe them definitely try out this snipe filter you should be able to make thousands of mt on the snipe filter there's just it's going to be a little slow on refreshes honestly we're going to hop into another filter supposedly this filter is good i think it's max bid 550 minimum buyout 100k we're going to see how this works. And honestly, yeah, it's pretty solid, guys. So max bid 550, minimum bid 100K. This filter could work out pretty solid, guys. You never know what could pop up. Someone could throw up their Giannis for 550 bid or 500 bid and then put up the 100K for a uh, 100K card for 100K. So this is also a very good filter. It's pretty much an enabled filter and you never know what you get on this filter. Hopefully, you could see some crazy snipes on this. I've seen a lot of 100k snipes with a 500 bit. You never know what could pop up. Hopefully you do got you do you guys do get a snipe on this filter. This is about filter number 5 and honestly, there really isn't that many good filters in this game. I'm going to go over some cards you should take advantage of and pay attention to pricing um in which this is considered sniping in my opinion. Bill Walton, man, there's been a lot of snipes going around. I got one for 28k and sold them out for 130k. Uh, I made about, what, 90k off that one Bill Walton, so I recommend paying attention to this. And some other filter snipe cards I would pay attention to is Larry Johnson, because there's not a lot on the auction, and he's actually kind of pricey. So if you want to look up Larry Johnson in the flash filter, oh, there we go, right there. Quick snipe, yes sir, he's around 20k. Yep, we just made a quick 6k profit right there. So that's what I'm saying, man, if you want to snipe very easy easy way to make mt guys people are going to need those players for tokens people think token market updates are coming this week so there we go man a quick larry johnson insane right there quick we already made like 10k in this video in about five minutes um another card i'm trying to think of wherever that danny granger is man he's super rare if we could just find out where exactly he is i think it's this one is it wherever that danny granger is guys He's very, very, there it is. So this Danny Granger, man, 60 something thousand MT for the tokens. You could probably pick one up for the low. I'm telling you, same with the Josh Smith, man, diamond filter. This is why I'm saying the diamond filter is deadly. You could honestly just snipe some right here on this filter. If you see one for under 10K, it's an easy buyout. Same with your main O'Neal, man. This filter is kind of going crazy, man. It's not even a filter. It's most, it's really just going through these cards and whatnot. This sets like 100k for 100 tokens, really not worth it, but people do lock it in and they do sell. So make sure to try it out. Possibly Big Z, maybe you get them for like a thousand. Um, let me see, Lonzo Ball. You could also get a ton of snipes on Lonzo Ball. Same with Clay Thompson, 100k buyout. Uh, Rod Strickland did go up a tiny bit from what he was. He's up to like 20,000 MT. Here's another card that might be spammed. And one other card I want to show you is andrew wiggins if i could find the set um that set i think it's right here yeah andrew wiggins guys very expensive right now if you guys want i would probably scroll through his name i honestly guarantee his snipe for like 10k to 15k in no time i don't know why he's this expensive i guess he is very rare in the set even though he's not because there used to be a ton same with ray allen these cards are very rare you can make easy mt off a lucky snipe and they will sell because people are doing it for the collection. That's why their set prices did rise because their rarity did go up a lot considering the other pink diamonds and opals got dropped by super packs. That is why these filters are very good and you can make a ton of MT off them. You just got to be a little patient. Honestly, I got the most snipes off uh, Andrew Wiggins. 
and I got the most snipes off Larry Johnson. And I got one Danny Granger snipe for around 15 to 20k. Stole him for 62k not too long ago. So honestly, that's really it, man. Those are my best snipe tips, honestly. There's really not a lot of snipe filters. There is enabled filters. I don't really recommend enabled filters, but it's completely up to you guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. Another thing, actually, before I do end this, I want to show you one thing. Manupo Sapphire. I invested in a couple of them for 3k. Let's check his price. Um, because he is in mystery packs, he is like kind of rare, I feel. So we're about to find out. Yeah. So he did go up a lot, man. I honestly recommend if you guys could get him for cheap, you should probably pick up another some new bowls, man. This car is very rare. I don't know why. But look at that, man. Just going for 5100 He's going for around what? He's going for like over 8k. So if you guys want to do this too, this is a very good snipe filter as well. They're popping up like crazy. But yeah, other than that, man. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let's see if we get one more. Yeah, that's it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace.